An eight at page from uh, Keio University in the UK. A recent book on international student mobility to and from the Middle East came out just last week. So um, over to you, Anita. Yes, hello. Thank you. Thank you, Krishna, for this introduction and for the invitation here uh, today. Um, yes, my name is Anita Hayes. I am senior lecturer in education at Keele University. Um, and um, as you can see, I research international students' mobility and international students' internationalization. So I look at critical studies of internationalization, particularly around areas of decolonization um, and constructions of international students. So I'm interested in exploring this concept of, of how international students are internationalized. So maybe we should start talking about students as internationalized rather than international. So this is the kind of concept of I'm trying to develop in my in my work but today. Seeing that the focus was on COVID nineteen and spaces in particular, I thought it made sense to talk about the my recent project that I've completed with international students, um, and the title of the project was uh, "Walking Indoors to Understand International Students as Agents of Knowledge," and what the project involved. It involved international students that were trapped in university accommodation um, during the, the lockdown here in the UK. And we asked students to walk in their rooms, um, either physically or using multimedia such as video, for example, or diaries to record their interactions with the spaces and to understand how th through those interactions, they were employing their epistemic frames to learn the curriculum. So it was important for us in the project to understand the relationship between students' agency in the learning process, the space in which they were, they were trapped, um, that was characterized by constraint and isolation, and subjectivities of students' uh, knowledge production. Um, so we wanted to see how those spaces were shaping students' learning um and how students were reaching out beyond those spaces even though they were trapped in the spaces to access their epistemic frames to to learn um so as i said earlier students were walking around the rooms filming filming their engagement with spaces we also asked the students to draw the maps of the of the rooms to understand the physical arrangements in which they were they were studied and they were given some prompts to answer um, you know, while they were narrating their walks. So we asked them why they walked to these spaces, why these spaces were important and why the artifacts that they were producing were important and what the meaning of it was and how they were using them for learning. Um, and students really shared an impressive range of, of different artifacts. You know, they've submitted videos, they've submitted arts, they've submitted sounds, pictures, clips of conversations. We've received over 70 data points that were really, really impressive. And all, all those points have shown us, you know, how students were turning their attention to self as learners um, and how they they were relearning how to learn through the experiences of lockdown. Um, so the value of the material, so it was all about the value of the material and how, how the students were attuning themselves to the material with which they were working. And that gave us insights into subjectivities of, of learning and their epistemological resources. And that captured very well their agency um, in the sense of being an effective charge towards the material, towards the space, and how they were attuning themselves to things to, to make learning out of them. I'm sure you are aware that there is quite a lot of um, um, discourse around international students as being in deficit, uh, you know, and being passive learners. And we're really trying to challenge this idea. And, and this, this particular project has shown this really well, especially under conditions, you know, working in the conditions of, of lockdown. So I'll, I'll stop talking now because I know I have limited time, so I don't want to take over. Um, thank you for listening. Thanks. Thank you so much.